what's up guys i just had to suddenly pull over to the side of the road because the truck engine light came on um and it said shut engine immediately and chris is taking a look and that right there i don't know if you can tell but that's all this village we basically got a leak in our um, antifreeze. Since you cut it off, are, you gonna, are we going to still be able to drive it? Oh, thank God. We can if we have enough coolant. Do we have? We have. Some coolant, I don't know if you So you, we spilled quite a bit. The wind's so strong in here, I need yeah, to hold it. Yeah, I'll hold it, yeah. The wind blew the cap away from that one. Really? I don't even know where it's at. Thank God to be said yes, this yes, one. Dad. Because that one also fell. Okay, update. Really awesome. He just said that he was able to find a shutoff valve. Basically, it was leaking um, the hose going towards the APU. So there's a shutoff valve. He's able to cut that off. And he's just now been filling um, antifreeze in so we can make this delivery and see if we can fix this. All right. So usually those shutoff valves are up here and they're for the heater core. You can turn them off and it won't go through the heater core. But Is because right the blocking? yellow ones, because we have the APU, the coolant has to go to the APU. Well, these are the shutoff valves to the APU. Well, good thing you knew that. How'd you know that? Because I remember them. they both go to the APU because I shut both of them off. Oh. But it doesn't really matter because like this one comes from the engine right here and then there's a cut right here that goes back to the heater core. I believe it's back there. And then this one comes back from the heater core and then shoots down here. But then there's a, another one that comes down here and I believe that goes into the transmission or engine. I'm not sure. Anyways. These two should only go to the APU, so I'm not too worried about having that shut off. But we're gonna have to go get more food because it just went down. Yeah. I'm gonna start it. Okay. Hurry, good. No lights. Huh? There's nothing. There was before. It's gonna come back. Yeah. Before it was a, re a red one that said stop engine immediately. I mean, literally, we're 12 miles away from our uh, pickup. What a way to wake up to Jane yelling, Chris! Oh, it says engine stopped, so we're pulling back over, unfortunately. 
Let's just double check the coolant. If it's just below the minimum, we're just gonna keep on driving. We're fine. Actually, there's a shell right there. Keep on driving. There's the show right there. So, I'm gonna have her try to get as close as she can, and I'll just hop the highway and go get some. Pull over on the left. Mm-hmm. So, what do you think, Marley? Here's what Jasper usually does. Actually, we won't need to go to the Walmart since this shell is right here. Marley, you're in my way. So Chris just crossed over. Well, will be. So Chris is inside getting antifreeze. And literally, we are... Oh, that was to the Walmart. We're 11 miles now to our destination. And so we won't have to go to Walmart which is good and we can just go straight pick up hopefully it, right now it's 12 22 our appointment's at 1 p.m so we're gonna try to make it i'm really hoping it's gonna be a quick fix um and we can just do this when we get to texas uh but yeah i'm sure god will work it out it's just um getting enough uh antifreeze to hold us um and i'm glad it's not hot at all Temperature right now is 71. Yeah, 71 in. Oh, we're in Wisconsin, by the way. No, actually, no, we're not in Wisconsin. We just crossed over the border and we're in Illinois right now. Um, a little north of Chicago. But yeah, I wish I could stop and see family, but we have this. So anyway, oh, here he is. bucks actually that is cheaper than getting a tow truck and all the above I'm sure it would have been cheaper going uh, getting it at uh, getting it at Walmart I was expecting $20, yeah. and he's like, is this the regular? And he's like, oh, this is that fancy truck stuff. And I'm thinking to myself, like, no, dude, it's just gas stations, even the truck stops sell it for $20. I can get the same bottle for $10 each at Walmart. But like I said, I should have just done distilled water. So for those of you guys who don't know, you don't just put regular water into the radiator if you wanted to put water. You need to make sure you put distilled water. And the reason why is I was gonna put some of this water, the Costco water. I don't know if you guys can see. Anyway, this says purified water with minerals added for taste. The minerals can corrode inside of your engine. And that's the last thing you want. So that's why you use distilled water because it has nothing added. You can also probably use maybe baby water because I don't think they add anything to that but you just have to read and make sure that there's nothing added to the water 
As long as there's nothing added to it, you can probably put it in. Distilled is the safest bet. We put four gallons of coolant. I had another bottle, it was empty. What? Yeah, because I keep so putting them glad. back in there oh, got you. to fill them up. I mean to fill them up with water, but yeah. it's like, I'm, I might as well just replace but it. I'm so glad your trips to Walmart have actually mm. helped out on restocking. Yeah. So at least you, we were prepared, so thanks, love. Yeah. Thank God for sure, because when Jane told me to get up, like, I noticed that we had the low coolant light, which we usually don't get that if we need to park our forest region. Because last time we got the red stop immediately check engine light, it was because we needed a forest region, but then I saw the coolant light was low and that it was already actively degrading, uh, what is it? Not degrading, no. Uh, there's a word that I'm looking for, but anyways, it just means that it's taking away power for from the engine. So I told her to pull over and stop immediately. She, she had to slam on those brakes and I told her to shut it off. I looked and I didn't see any coolant leaking near the front of the engine. So I was like, man, why is, why is, I guess we're just low. Maybe there's an air bubble. And I took off the cap and I went to go get coolant and came back. And that was the worst thing I could do because I walked away when I took off the cap. And the reason why that was the worst thing I could possibly do was as soon as I released the cap, now there was a place for the air to escape. It's kind of like when you're pouring gasoline out of a little gas tank and you open up the little, the little cutout edge at the end of it while you pour, it pours out better. That's the same thing, same concept. I removed the little cap, that would be the radiator cap and it just let coolant just spew out and that's where we lost about another two gallons. So if I didn't do that, or if I did it to find a leak, I would have caught it faster and we would have been better off. But unfortunately, we lost another two gallons, had to buy another two, but we're on our way now. Cheaper fix, 41 bucks. Yeah, compared to getting a tow, yeah, taking it to the dealer. Yeah, that's what I was so thinking. Yeah, I'm glad I knew about those cutoffs, because... Oh, Six Flags. There's a member's entrance. Oh. They have their own entrance, that's awesome. Oh, maybe team members. Yeah. Okay, so staff. When you said that about the gas, I thought of it when I'm doing laundry, and I'm the big yeah. like, five gallons. And, and you I'm open like, the why back. Why isn't it coming out? And Just you open like the top that too. area. Yeah. So, yeah, so we'll do a little bit, go. We'll do a little bit better of review. For you guys or not a review but like explanation on what's going on with the truck once we kind of our nerves settle down and we get to the customer and all that so thanks for coming on this adventure with us you know ventures finally our first adventure that they're on with us right yeah. other than a vlog all right guys we'll see you around